Hi there, welcome to Expo Hub channel. Let's get started with the exercise number 18. Before that, what people say about our channel? There are so many people who have got recent offer letter, uh, our subscribers who has been following our channel. So I wanted to show you a couple of them so that you get to know what people, how people got benefited from our channel. So please do subscribe immediately and also take benefit of all our contents which is available on videos and playlist of our channel homepage. Okay, so please do visit them and try to gain as much as knowledge that's possible for you from our videos. With that, let's get started with this exercise. So this exercise is slightly different from the previous one. In the previous one, I have given you welcome to Expo Hub, but in this one, I am saying welcome to Expo Hub, this at the rate expohub.com is the sample email address so this is the string you have been given from this string you have to pull only the email address so your output should this at the rate expohub.com this is a sample email address okay so how will you find only the email address okay pull the email address as the output output using string methods so in the previous video you must have learned the index of dot last index of substring how it works okay so if you are fully aware of how these methods work then i want you to pause it and then try to pull the email address in case you are not you can continue with me okay so once you have completed whichever way if you have completed this exercise through with me or without me please do mark yes please do comment yes okay with that, let's get started and please do subscribe for more such contents. Okay, so what is our, uh, con what is the string that we need? Welcome to Expo Hub. This at the rate expohub.com is the sample email address. So you can take any of your sentence, okay? Whatever you feel, you can create a sentence. So first of all, let me drag and drop some activity. Okay, and create a variable. Just to keep it simple, I'm saying A okay so a is a string which has this value okay so i'm keeping and putting in the notepad so that it is easy for us okay so while you are practicing i want you to have it on a notepad also so that it will be easy for you to refer how it is working to understand okay so i have put it so now this is clear so what i want if you look at the entire string at the rate okay at the rate is one of the symbol which generally tells you okay there is an email address around it okay so what i will do using substring i will make it into two parts this is the first part this is the second part okay i want to pull both the parts and then i will combine them both you getting it so you got the logic so what is the logic i am doing i'll be in using this at the rate i will divide this entire sentence into two parts first part and second part and then from there i have to do something and pull only the email address so let me show you okay so first of all let me create a variable called first part control plus k first part okay so i have created and then i will be using a substring method for this so how does the substring works i told you in the previous one so i will use the string then i will say substring okay it will find the substring of a okay a dot substring in the bracket from where you want to start i want to start from zero that means from the beginning of it i want to start the a means a is containing everything so from zero means w from here it will start so until where you want what is the length of it i want until at the rate i want until at the rate okay so i will simply say how will i say until at the rate i have to because substring takes an integer here right you have to mention an integer number so if i don't mention an integer it is going to pull the entire sentence so i have to stop it at certain point so what i will say i will say a dot last index of I don't even have to use in last index, I simply I'll use index of. Okay, index of what in bracket and in double quote I have to say at the rate. 
getting it so what is the output of a dot index just think about only this don't worry about the entire sentence just think about what is the output of this the output of this is the number so wherever the number is the at the rate is available is going to show that number see output is there in, in the integer format right so 0 comma let's say his output is 32 okay so 0 comma 32 means it is going to tell you from 0 till 32 no don't include 32 but until 32 you have to take the string getting it so it is going to get me the output so let's see the output i have written this so what you do you always experiment you don't watch this just do it on your system and you'll get to know so i'm saying first part so what should be the output of this so if you look at your sentence so if you see until at the rate okay from zero until at the rate it has pulled so it has pulled all this data do you see x bob comma dot this everything it has pulled so first part is there with us okay now sorry now from this first part the first part output is this okay the first part is equal to this welcome to expo of this so what i want i don't want all this i only need this okay so what should i do so there is a space there is a space here there is a space here there is a space here after that you only have this so what i will do i will use another assign activity i'll further try to find the substring of that one first part so what i am going to do first part is equal to first part dot substring now you should understand the first part only contains this okay this entire sentence okay so what i do i want to start from this space okay so i will say substring this is simple logic so once you know the syntax everything else is easy so here i want to start from that particular index so what i will do i will say first part dot last index of what in the bracket i am going to give a space so last index of space wherever that last space is there from there you should start okay so i don't want to include the space right so i will say whatever that number is plus one so it will start from the next number so from there it should start and show me the output okay so click on okay so what is what is wrong uh, first part is not declared it may be inaccessible to its protection level so it's saying first part is not declared let me see first part is a string okay check the spelling generally you will make spelling mistake see i made spelling mistake here getting it first part so the error is gone okay so now what will be the output the output will be only this the output is saying this before that at the rate only this has come check this okay so the only output this i have derived so the first part so what i did first of all i pulled it this part again i am making a uh, substring substring where it should start the substring should start from this space plus one that means it should start from t so it is showing me the output this okay i got my first part similar way let's build the second part i'll use another assign activity okay now here i want to pull, uh, pull the second part so i will say create a variable control plus k and simply say second part okay so second part what i will do the starting point so look at this the starting point should be at the rate right from here it should start starting rate, at the rate plus one from here actually it should start okay so what i will do i'll use again the substring method so a dot entire uh, string is there in a right so a dot substring then the starting point is different here the starting point should be from where from a dot index of index of 
at the rate whatever the index number of at the rate is okay from there not exactly from there plus one it should start after that right so i'm saying plus one you should start from here okay so what would happen now the second part is going to show me so let's see the second part okay in the message box i will say second part you understanding i'm using a message box just to check how it is working so this is this will be very very helpful so let's check the second part how the second part is coming okay now you can see if you compare on the text it is coming from expohub.com is the sample email address okay so it has pulled everything up at the rate from plus one i have done that's why okay i got it but this time i need it until the first space until the first space so what i will do i will further do a substring so let me use another assign activity and here i will say second part is equal to i will say second part i want to divide it again so I, I want to find this substring so i will say substring what is the format 0 comma 5 you remember that example so first so it should start from where it should start from 0 because the second part is this is your second part right let me write it second part is equal to this so from 0 only it should start but it should stop here in the first before this first space it should stop okay so it should start from zero okay fine where it should stop i will say uh, second part dot index of dot index of what index of the space right so i will say double code and it will give a space fine so exactly there is going to stop so let's see the output if the output is coming properly or not so it should show me expohub.com okay so this way just by doing a divide you know i'm dividing into two parts and i got both the outputs okay expohub.com has come getting it very good now what i want i want to join both of it so what is my output the first output the first part is now after trimming it further the first output is this and the second output is expohub.com so i want to join it okay so to join this what i will do i use a message box i have taught you something called string dot format you want to put a string in your own format so i told you about this so if you check your notebook how you have written the syntax for it okay just check your notebook i have told you to make a note so string dot format so here what i should do here what i will do i will use this i have taught you i will write zero and then i will write at the rate then i am going to write one then i am going to write comma so this format when i am teaching you must understand what i am doing because i taught you the string format method in one of the exercise right so zero uh, at the rate 1 and then I will write the first variable what is the first variable first part right this is the variable which contains the first part comma then I will say second second part so ensure your spellings are correct okay otherwise it might throw error so wh what is happening first part second part and here I am saying string dot format 0 and this both of them should be in double quote because this has to be in a string way okay so this string 0 means first variable will come 1 means the second variable will come here and the output should show so let's run this and see our final output okay now you can see the final output this at the rate expohub.com has come getting it so you must have understood now how to build it this is very simple simple logic that we have used and with that we are able to get the output what we need so at the end we have to use only the simple options string dot value dot index of string dot value dot last index of these are the three different methods using which i have got my output clear so do it on your own after watching this once again you try to do it on your own you will understand it entirely okay with that 
let's come to a conclusion here and we will come up with the next exercise thank you so much we'll meet again bye bye